The TA Augusta Westland T129 ATAK is a twin engine, tandem seat, multi roll, all weather attack helicopter based on the Augusta, a 129 Megusta platform. The T129 was developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries TA in partnership with Leonardo Augusta Westland Helicopters. The helicopter is designed for armed reconnaissance and attack missions in hot and high environments and rough geography in both day and night conditions. The ATAK program was begun to meet the requirements of Turkish Armed Forces for an armed tactical reconnaissance and an attack helicopter. The T-129 is the result of the integration of Turkish-developed avionics, airframe modifications, and weapon systems onto the Augusta Westland A-129 airframe. With upgraded engines, transmission, and rotor blades, it is in use by the Turkish Army and other services, including the Turkish Gendarmerie. The helicopter has a unit cost of roughly US$50 million. TEA would develop an indigenous mission computer, avionics, weapon systems, self-protection suites, and a helmet mounting queuing systems would manufacture the CTS-804 and engines under license. However, the T129's CTS-804 N gives the United States a veto over any prospective export sales, and so Turkey developed its own TITS-1400 power plant. About 95% of the initial parts of the serial production T129 are manufactured in Turkey. The T129 ATAK is optimized for hot and high conditions, performance requirements against challenging geographical and environmental conditions in night and day operations. It has several key improvements over the original A129 inline with the requirements of the Turkish Army. The helicopter is equipped with the Hunter Casket Integrated Control System, specially designed for the helicopter. The system enables the automatic orientation of target detection and weapon systems to the pilot's line of sight with high tracking accuracy. The helicopter is also equipped with a dedicated electro-optical FLIR system, ASELFLIR. 300T for multi-purpose missions manufactured by the Turkish company Aselsan. The helicopter also equipped with advanced electronic warfare and countermeasure systems, which increase survival capabilities in combat situations. These systems include a radar warning receiver. The ATAK can be used in the anti-armor, armed reconnaissance, ground attack, escort, asymmetrical fire support, and short-range anti-aircraft roles. The T-129 ATAK is equipped with a 20mm 3-barrel rotary cannon in a nose turret with 500 rounds of ammunition. It can also be equipped with up to 8 UMTA's 160mm long range anti-tank missiles, 76 unguided 70mm rockets for close air support, 16 CIRI T-70mm missiles, and 8 air-launched Stinger short-range air-to-air missiles. The helicopter features also include high maneuverability, low visibility sound, and radar silhouette high impact resistance and ballistic tolerance. The T-129 ATAK fits well in any army looking for an all-around attack helicopter with high firepower, rapid firing rate. The helicopter is first and foremost built for the Turkish military but Turkey is offering it to other countries as well. The T-129 ATAK helicopter is powered by two powerful engines that generate up to two, 580 HP each, enabling it to fly at a speed of around 285 kilometers a. It can reach an altitude of 6,000 feet and a range of 500 miles. It can survive a rate of descent of 23 feet. The ATAK helicopter has a maximum take, off weight of 16, 000 ohms, which can be further increased up to 18,000 ohms with external fuel tanks. This is significantly higher than that of other helicopters of this type. The helicopter can seat up to two crew members. It is armed with three powerful weapons, two short range missiles, and a 20 mm gun. The ATAK helicopter can also provide targeting data to other helicopter gunships 
and ground-based units. Its takeoff weight and other advanced features make the ATAK helicopter a unique machine expected to provide the Turkish armed forces with a wide range of capabilities. The helicopter can carry many weapons, including anti-tank missiles, guided rockets, and torpedoes. It can also carry different types of sensors, including multispectral electro-optical sensors, synthetic aperture radars, and signal intelligence sensors. The T-129 ATAK helicopter is equipped with a state-of-the-art avionics system, which enables it to detect and track enemy targets. It can engage hostile ground units with accurate short-range missiles and deliver precision guided munitions to the enemy. In addition, the helicopter provides real-time targeting data to other helicopters and ground forces. It has an advanced self-protection system that detects and jams enemy radar systems. The aircraft also has a decoy system, which can lure enemy missiles away from the ATAK helicopter by giving off false targeting data. Regarding range, the ATAK can outrange the Apache by nearly 100 kilometers, but the Apache is faster by nearly 50 miles per hour. Both the ATAK and Apache helicopter carry about the same number of weapons on four external hardpoints on wing pylons on both sides. The weapons mix of the ATA case includes eight UMTAS 160mm long-range anti-tank missiles, 76 unguided 70mm rockets for close air support, 16 CIRIT 70mm missiles or 8 air. The Apache can carry a mix of air-to-air -air missiles like the and the Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System, formerly known as Hydra, in both guided and unguided 70mm rockets. The ATAK carries a 20mm cannon with three rotating barrels firing 500 rounds of ammunition, while the Apache has a 30mm gun firing from a single barrel with 1,200 rounds per minute. The T-129 features an aluminium alloy frame fitted to a five-bladed main rotor, a two-bladed tail rotor, and wheeled landing gear. Designed to operate in hot conditions, the T-129 can be deployed in a wide range of operations, including attack reconnaissance and deterrent missions. Stealth features and significant weapon systems allow the T-129 to operate in complex battlefield environments, hand-confined areas, and ballistic tolerance has been increased for high survivability. Capable of operating in day and night conditions, the helicopter is equipped with a laser rangefinder designator, night vision, helmet-mounted display system, and an emergency locator transmitter. The digital cockpit of the T-129 incorporates two-color multifunctional displays, keyboard display unit, avionics central control computer, and a four-axis automatic flight control system. It will accommodate two crew members. The cockpit will also integrate an aircraft admission management system, weapon control units, flight data recorder, integrated INS GPS, Doppler navigation, and an air vehicle monitoring system. The T-129 is powered by two T-804, a turboshaft engines. Each engine can develop a power output of 101.4 kilowatts. The T-804 is an export variant of the CTS-800 engine. It has a length of 0.85, a diameter of 0.56, and weighs about 154. FADEC reduces the workload of the pilot by controlling all aspects of the aircraft's engine performance. The T-129 has a maximum cruise speed of 269 kilometers. The normal and ferry ranges of the helicopter are 561 kilometers and 1,000 kilometers respectively, and it can climb the rate of 14 meters. The service ceiling is 6,096 meters, 
Maximum endurance is 3 hours and the maximum takeoff weight of the aircraft is 5,000 kilograms. The T-129 ATAK will become the most advanced vehicle to join the Italian helicopter tree in the next major update and will provide pilots with a vastly more capable machine to support their tracked allies on the ground with, thus boosting the T-129's ability to hunt down other helicopters or defend itself against aircraft above the battlefield.